Hey guys, and welcome to Eduardo Lardo Plays again. Um, today we'll be showing you the freeway adaptive cruise controls and all the safety features that it comes with. Um, so to start off, let's, okay, I'm on cruise control right now, but to start off, let's just say um, you're on the freeway right now and you go up to, let's say, 80 kilometers an hour. You just press the top button right here and it'll set to cruise control. It already has the adaptive cruise control already activated and you can set your um, distances right here on the bottom button. So there's four distances, four, three, two, and one. So it's raining today, maybe I'll set it up to three, two. So if there's a freeway, um, there's cars right now and we're stopping, it's stopping by itself. I don't have to do any braking. Traffic stop and go is good. Um, it will do the, oh yeah, when you're on cruise control, it'll also turn off the region, I guess the levels, and it'll do the region braking by itself and use the brakes if necessary, I believe. Um, so yeah, so it's starting by itself, I'm not, pressing any pedals or anything. Um, so this button uh, right here, if you move it up or down, as you can see your cruise speed will go up and down as well. Um, if you hold it down, um, we go up to every 10 kilometers an hour. Um, so right now I'm not, I'm not doing anything, it's doing it by itself. Now the other thing we can do is the lane keep assist. Um, I believe this is the lane keep assist. Um, essentially it'll steer you in the direction so if I don't so right now it's kind of blurry maybe take a look at the road first so it's kind of rainy the lines aren't that clear um, we're in Canada so we don't have a lot of those reflective stones um, but yeah so the car is essentially steering by itself um, I'm not doing anything and for what it does I think it's pretty good um, now we have a bend coming soon so you can take a look at that as well how the steering wheel essentially turns itself it's really cool um, so the other thing is that um, there's also a lane departure warning, um, which is a little different than the lane keep assist. The lane departure warning is always there. Um, but yeah, so right now we're doing a turn. Um, my hands are off the wheel and it's turning by itself. So it's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Um, we also have the guidance on, as you can see. Um, so yeah, so right now the whole way, and now because it's been about 10 seconds or more, um, it tells me to put my hands on the wheel. So. Obviously, it's not autopilot, it's not um, Tesla autopilot, right? You can't just leave yourself off the wheel. Um, every so often, they'll come and warn you that you need to put your hands on the wheel. So again, there's a bend coming, as you can see on the road, and the car is turning by itself. Again, it's not the clearest day, it's raining, um, but the car still is able to uh, detect the lanes and to keep it in the right direction. Uh, so this is cool. Uh, we'll have a little bonus here. These are the navigation panels. Um, so it's, I mean, it's pretty typical of navigation stuff. I've never had a pretty uh, a, a good car like this with so many features. It actually shows you how the lanes and stuff look like. Okay, okay, this guy's really slow in front of me, so maybe I'll just pull over. I mean, maybe cut him out. All right, so yeah, now I'm going a little faster now. I'm finally going up to my speed. I had to press the pedals a little bit, but again, um, adaptive cruise control and the steering is pretty good. Um, it's pretty smooth. Um, so the other car I've driven is the Honda Civic 2018 and that was the only car with a lane keep assist and also a, um, what do you call it, the adaptive cruise control. And I found in the Civic it was really, um, if someone cuts me off like right now, it's really like, it just breaks right away because it, want, it wants to keep that distance. I find the Ionix 5 um, is a little better. It smooths you into back to that distance two or a distance one level you want to have. Um, so I like it really good. Um, so we have a, a lane coming soon, a lane merge. So we'll see if anyone um, merges in and tries to cut me off and see how it reacts. So again, like I said, it's really smooth. I really like it. Um, the Honda Civic was a little too rough on the edges. It'll break really hard right away. Uh, maybe it's the regen brake that can um, smooth out the levels and stuff. Um, but yeah, so there's people merging. Um, yeah, I don't feel a thing. Okay, so there's a little break right now. I, I moved the distance a little further out, so it did do a little regen break. But again, it was really smooth. You don't feel like it's uh, suddenly pressing on the brakes too hard. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please comment below, and I'll try to explain that. But again, this is just the Ion the Hyundai Ion X5, the adaptive cruise control, and the Lane Keep Assist demo. So thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check out my other videos as well on the Ion X5. See ya.